Unbounced off the rim. It's still a 3-2 lead for Clonessa in blue. Lillian ties it up with her third point. Big hit by Venom on Clonessa. Oh, another one off the rim. Clonessa takes the lead. Nice display by the Twins. Vanessa, not only talking the talk, but walking the walk with her fine form on this layup to pull ahead of her twin sister. After two events, Vanessa has a one-point lead over Lillian. Looks like these two twins may have some separation anxiety they need to overcome. Now it's time to meet one of our newest gladiators. A storm is brewing in Gladiator Arena, and its name is Hurricane. Hurricane is a world-class athlete, an Olympic javelin thrower. All right, I'm going for it this time. I'm going for it. Hurricane's debut event will be Tilt. Now it's time for the men to test their strength and balance on Tilt. This is going to be the most intense tug of war they've ever been a part of. All right, Gamble, how are you holding up physically? You know what? Right now, I have no points, so I'm going to go for 10 right here. We'll see what I can do. The thing is, uh, you see the platform you're on? Yeah. I'll get ready to be off there in two seconds. We'll see what happens. All right, guys, he said he's going to take him down in two seconds. You think he's going to take him down in two seconds? Well, let's find out. Is the contender ready? Yeah. Why do you ready? Ooh, wow. Let's see if Hurricane is a man of his word. Come here. Oh, I guess he is. Now you know! This Hurricane roars into Gladiator Arena and sends Mike flying for his debut event. All right, Gamble. The bad <laughs> news is you didn't get any points. The good news is that you stayed on for four seconds. Yeah, what about that, too? <laughs> yeah! Double up! You're still gonna have all your energy when it comes time to that Eliminator, right? My name is Energy Baby. That's all we gotta do. There's no limit to my energy because these guys right here, what up? That's what I'm talking about right there. Now it's Adam's turn to tilt. Okay, Doc, time for you to face Hurricane. I think we might have a little motivation for you before we start. Take a look at the big screen. Hey, Adam, it's Justin. We've worked together for eight years. We're all proud of you. Good luck. And after you annihilate those gladiators, we'd be happy to treat them in our emergency department. Brother, I know you're going to give it your all, but remember, you can't work in a body cast. So keep it real. So that's got to feel good. Did it give you that extra boost that you need up there? Yeah, I can't disappoint those people. I, I got to pull this guy into the water. If he goes all the way, the good doctor plans to donate all his winnings to the charity at the hospital where he works. Is the contender ready? Ready. Gladiator ready? Three, two, one. Immediately, both the contender and the gladiator take a seat. If somehow the doctor can pull Hurricane into the water, he can get 10 points. Unbelievable. This doctor is not going down easily. Uh, ten seconds, ten. Uh, Man, he is digging deep for all the strength that he can muster five against the mighty hurricane, and he's trying to hold on for five. Uh, wow! Impressive by the doctor. Woo! These guys are bigger than they look on TV, and very strong. Somehow, some way, Adam found the strength to hold on for dear life against Hurricane to pick up five points. With two events down, the doctor pulls ahead of the dancer. Twin gladiators! Yeah! I like it. 
the twin sisters feeling good as they get ready to battle the gigantic wall. If you've got a fear of falling, this is not the event for you. Contenders have one minute to scale our 50-foot wall with a ferocious gladiator racing after them. How about we introduce the gladiators ready to grab hold of them and send them into the water? Lillian, get ready to try to outrun Jet! Woo! Let's see if Jet can make Lillian fly into the water. Vanessa, let's see how you do against Siren! Heed the call of Siren, for danger is in the air. Remember, ladies, you're gonna have a seven-second head start. That's gonna go by in the flash, okay? You ready to get on that wall? Woo! Woo! Let's go! Are the contenders ready? Gladiators ready? Ready! Contenders, you will go on my first whistle. Gladiators, you will go on my second whistle. Three, two, one. Whichever sister makes it to the top of the wall first scores 10 points. Here come the gladiators. Oh, and right away. Peter, make it too easy for me. Jet all over Lillian. Siren, catch it out to Clonessa. Whoa. 30 Lillian. seconds. Oh, there goes Jet. That means Lillian is free and clear. She's only battling the clock, but Clavessa's doing a great job. She's got a big lead on her twin sister as she fights off Siren. There goes Clavessa. She'll reach the top first. She'll score 10 points. Lillian just needs to keep her grip and stay dry. She does and scores five. Ah, yeah, that's right! Jet was all over Lillian, slowing her down, but nothing could stop her twin sister, Clonessa, from getting to the top and scoring 10 points. That gets a 10 on the Clonessa scale, and that's high. Woo! With those 10 points, Clonessa takes a six point lead over her sister. Now it's time for the guys to rumble and tumble man to man on Earthquake. Now that the wall's safely in our rearview mirror, how about we take Adam and Gamble and shake them up a little? Hey, yo, Gamble, the word skill comes into play as far as wrestling goes. Believe me, I know. I've seen your moves. You got more moves than a bowl of jello. Believe me. <laughs> Do you have any experience as far as wrestling goes? Besides wrestling my friends, not really, but we'll see what happens, how my moves can help me out today. Well, that's awesome, brother, because the gladiator you're going up against has never competed on Earthquake either. Let's hear it for the maniac with the fangs in the claws, the howling wolf! It's always a full moon with wolf on the scene. Wolf pack in the house! Gladiator maniacs! I think it's time for Dancing with Wolves. Let's hear it for Earthquake. Is the contender ready? Yeah. Gladiator ready? Three, two, one. A lot of hand dancing going on early. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Is that all you got? Call me slap happy, but the last time I checked, playing patty cake was not an approved strategy. Looks like the gambler's bet did not pay off. Now it's Adam's turn on Earthquake. Okay, Gamble just went down quick. And sorry to say, brother, I think he's only got Wolf more worked up. Are you going for the big splashdown? Or are you just going to try to hang on for your life? I'm going to do the best I can. I'll see how it unfolds. If I can take them off, that's what I'll do. It's a matter of getting five points and staying up, but I definitely want to leave this platform with some points tonight. Best of luck to you. Let's hear it for Doc on Earthquake. Is the contender ready? Ready. Gladiator ready? Ah. Three, ah. two, one. 
Let's see if the doctor can hold his own against a big gladiator. Whoa! I'll say he held his own. Very nice. Ten points for Adam Hill. This doctor is not a veterinarian, but he sure managed to put down the wolf. You know, when they said it's a contender ready, the wolf goes, Aah! and he like yells at me, and I actually yelled back. Aah! And I was like, geez, I'm getting pretty jacked up. Maybe this is going to work out. You go, medical man. Ten more points. Big enough for a 15-point lead over Mike Gamble. Coming up, a brand new event that tests strength and endurance and could send the gladiators flying. <laughs> Welcome back to Gladiator Arena. So far, the twins have been going toe-to-toe -to -toe in every event. They went against Crush and Steel on Pyramid and found themselves scoreless. Then it was Venom and Phoenix who stepped up and sent the twins plummeting to their doom for no points. With one event to go before the Eliminator, the Gladiator Pinatas are still only two points apart. Now it's time for the Twins to take a shot at a brand new event. It's Snapback. We couldn't head into the Eliminator without breaking out another brand new event here at the Gladiator Arena. Strap yourself in and get ready for Snapback, where contenders try to run as far as they can into our scoring zones while a gladiator pulls them backwards by a bungee cord. If the contender can make it all the way to the end and hit a button, they'll get 10 points and send the gladiator flying off into the air just to rub it in. Clanessa, get ready to fill the pool of Helga! Built like a tank and just as hard to stop Helga. And Lillian, once again, you're going against Crush! She is America's toughest sweetheart, Crush. Are the contenders ready? Right. Yeah. Gladiators ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. The goal in Snapback is to fight the resistance provided by the Gladiators and hit the red button to launch them for 10 big points. Helga pulling against Clonessa as Lillian fights hard against Crush. 10 seconds, 10! Five seconds! Wherever they wind up when time expires is the score they'll keep. Lillian scores eight, Vanessa gets four, and Helga gets a hug. Okay, ladies, that was a tough round of snapback. Now, you had a hard person to go against up there, but you did manage to get four points. Yeah, that's what 210 pounds looks like against 145. Let's hear for our gladiators! <laughs> Very impressive display by Clonessa and Lillian, combining for an amazing 58 points. Clonessa's two-point lead will give her a one-second head start in the Eliminator. Now we catch up with the men's action so far in Gladiator Arena. The good doctor flatlined for no points on hit and run. Oh, no, ah, yes. While the gambler danced his way to an impressive 12 points. You can talk all the smack you want to, but I got back across and I'm dry. But his cockiness didn't last long as Militia got revenge on the wall and showed him some moves of his own. Who's going to dance now? Uh, I'm the dancing now. And it's another incident of malpractice for the doctor. On his way to an easy victory in the wall, he slipped and ended up with no points. To see all the action in its entirety, go to NBC.com.